And chimpanzees, as you know, are 98.5% genetically identical to us. So here is a species very closely related to us, basically infecting with a very similar virus that doesn't uh, get sick. I'm very proud of being the first person to pave the way for a possibility of eradicating polio in the world. The vaccine was developed with the idea that you can attenuate a virulent virus and make it so mild that you could immunize instead of causing the disease. Sabine, who asked me uh, whether I'm not afraid of Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Children, taking exception of feeding the live virus to children. Au Congo belge, le camp de polio, dirigé par le docteur Courtois, compte 86 chimpanzés sur lesquels on pratique régulièrement des essais en injectant le vaccin anti-polio inventé en 1947 par le docteur Koprowski. Les animaux sont placés dans des cages dont une des parois est mobile et permet d'approcher plus facilement les singes pour les injections hypodermiques. Ainsi se poursuit une lutte implacable contre une des plus terribles maladies non encore vaincues. The work which was done originally on polio vaccination was done in the then Belgian Congo. Both the animal work and mass vaccination. The first trial on mass vaccination was done in Ruzizi Valley in maybe it was 59 or 60, I don't remember, where in six weeks 250,000 people were vaccinated against polio because there was a polio epidemic. In 1987, the world had just woken up to the reality of AIDS and uh, subsequently it has now been found that the first ever recorded blood sample, uh, which is HIV positive, has been found, found from the capital of Congo from 1959. And Kaprowski is claiming that his trials may have begun in 1960, in other words, after uh, the first HIV positive blood sample which has been found. Your grandparents were slaves, no? Was what? Your grandparents were slaves, no? Slaves? Yeah! Slaves are the fucking Belgians. This was the place where in 1958 us and our two closest relatives were gathered together. Were gathered together in which our close relatives became sacrificial, sacrificial pieces of uh -huh. polio vaccine manufacture and now we have AIDS. But apart from that, I think scientists and scientists can learn a lot from this from this, this particular problem. A lot about human evolution, but also what is the role of these SIVs, these viruses and chimps, and possibly probably the bonobos to play in influencing their sexuality. What role do these viruses play in uh, you know explaining why humans are different? from other animals, what was it that made you much different? Almost all the African primates that have been tested in Africa have these viruses, the immunodeficiency viruses. Bonobos have been inadequately tested, but uh, that's it, and humans didn't have them. So, I think that's it. So why is it that only humans don't have these viruses? And I think it's because humans evolved some inherent protection against these viruses. Oh. And it was only the special event that linked the camp. Mm. And, also, and also, the, 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 the bonobos and the chimp, with the, the existence, existence of the virus in their body, the, the virus doesn't kill them. But how, when it comes in a human, a human body, it does kill? That can also be another question which can help to find out a, a remedy, don't you think? of the matter I believe was that uh, 
we were calling simian immunodeficiency virus the virus in chimps siv but it did not cause any immunodeficiency in chimps maybe this virus was harmless and it was only the mutation it had undergone in tissue culture that had made it so dangerous after all hiv1 when transferred back into chimps experimentally killed them same as it did humans Ivi bana sema ke virusi ya shitan tuko na toka kwa mkomboso. Bon, ivi shit tuko na kula ba mkomboso ile. Standire ke tuko des gens vraiment contaminé na na shitan. Say uh, uh, no but uh, this is what the people uh, some people say that it's because people are eating them maybe somebody got cut and the blood got transferred into humans. Some people say this is how shida started. Any other disease Uh, maybe could have come through eating or whatever but a disease as dangerous as sida the fact that it is started now this is not a disease that could have been around in humans and suddenly made its appearance in 1960 i think it started just after the feeding of this dawa because all of them would have known about sida if it had been around 100 years ago but there seems to be no sign of sida how is this possible if people are eating chimpanzees Uh, there are many people who, who don't want the story to come out and they will argue with me but uh, it is my belief that sida virus is very different from the virus which is in chimpanzees something has changed this virus na sema basi mbele mbele tu kwaka nakula tu soko mu ki bo wakati ba berzi bana kwenda njo tunakia kusikia tena sida na mbele tu kwa kula soko mu the theories on the other hand they had the laboratories and the power to interpret the findings any way they wished findings they subsequently used to create patents and establish alliances with pharmaceutical companies and as such only one sort of form of data was constantly thrown into scientific journals so we have a large grant for aids for 5 years of total of 4 and 1/2 million dollars yes we just got a grant now from an age for work on aids this is a basic research in aids here uh, and there is an attempt to learn more about aids virus mm -hmm. learn more about tumors so called non hodgkin leukemias mm -hmm. which may be associated with aids mm -hmm. learn about a new approach to immunization against aids mm -hmm. and about this fusion between cells i don't need to go to africa i'm no, not interested no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Mm. 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 Mm.